have to do my intro and then we'll see if that works. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip, and again I'm doing the streaming casting live thing, so I apologize if there's any like technical difficulties. But you know what's uh, not a technical difficulty? Uh, that was a terrible segue, but uh, the spy, his uh, loadout kind of cracks me up. Anyway, welcome to Lakeside. Remember Lakeside? Yeah, it was the first match of the season for UGC Highlander. I heard this was an excellent match between two uh, UGC North American Steel Team's Blue Division. So let's meet our rosters and get to it. We have Kaiser. Oh, uh, Blue. Blue Team is in Bang, which I have a funny story about, which we will get to later uh, when there's delay in action, maybe, or pause in action or whatever. <gasps> So, uh, Terra Bang is in blue. We have Swordfish Trombones, whatever that is, in red. So, Kaiser is Spy for Terra Bang. We have Commander Platypus as Sniper. My mom in your lasagna is the rest of that name, is Engineer. Double Dragon is Heavy. That's not English, is Demo Man. I'm gonna call him Bon. And then we're gonna Mike TSTL is. Soldier, um, I think that's a shout out to St. Louis, which I um, definitely um, second. So shout out to St. Louis. We have Crazian Drops the something, uh, Scout Allison as Medic, and Rcraft as Pyro. Over on the Swordfish with the little cute fish as their tag, we have Pete FBSD is heavy. We're going to call him Pete. We have a Wicket, who apparently is never sober. Don't worry, there are programs for that, and I'm sure you can uh, seek help if you want it. Is Medic Angusan is Demo Man. Snappa is Pyro. The Custodian is Sniper Ekhoff is Engineer. Deacon is mm, Spy Eti Bag Bagage Bagig. We're calling him Eddie is Scout, and then Front Toward Enemy is Soldier. Uh, needs that help. Uh, which way to turn? Always Front Toward Enemy. That is true. Crazy and Drops the Beat is the rest of Crazen's name right there. Uh, Bond getting that to mid very fast right there, putting down some sticks immediately on uh, Choke. And I'm pressing the wrong keys right there. Oops and doops. Um, but he does take a lot of damage. Gonna have to fall back. As in Bang, they are gonna be able to take a pretty good control of mid right here. Double Dragon does go down to backstab, so there's Spy behind them. Deacon is still on the prowl as well. Uh, gotta watch your back. Where did that Spy go? Uh, yeah, he's up here on the ramparts, and right now, not a lot of protection for Alice and the Medic. Uh, so she's going to have to watch her back as much as possible. Uh, Deacon does go down to a headshot. Commander Platypus gets that. And uh, there we go. A first round cap by Interrobang. We do have this crits ready. Allison charged it up very fast. So we're seeing who's... Uh, I'm guessing Bon is going to get it. And indeed, here it comes. Um, first crits not getting it. And Allison actually going down to crit stickies of Anji-san. So uh, Swordfish Trombones had little crits of their own. Um, but there is this matter of the heavy here on the point and finally double dragon goes down um, not to, he had a dispenser there so he was kind of hard to take down but finally uh and tarot bangs heavy goes down right there we'll see though if uh, oh commander platypus can maybe defend this on himself by himself he does take down the demo which is a nice pick right there but uh that's all he's going to be able to get and red does take control of the point. Did get a shot up there on Snappa, who is only at 43 health, but again, Sniper can't do it all. You gotta have somebody clean up those uh, big damage shots, and not there right now. Uh, seen some good aggression here from Blue Soldier, that is Mike. Uh, he was trying to go for a very aggressive hold on Battlements. He will have to fall back because he took a lot of damage, and he doesn't have the support of his team, but I do like... Uh, that aggressive front hold on defense. That's uh, You see it very much in platinum teams. They'll get up there in the battlements and try to hold it. We do see another crits coming down. Angie-san uh, getting that, but Wicket went down fairly early right there from a double dragon uh, heavy. Where was that positioning? They were on this point, and so that crits are pretty much... Uh, no, I, I don't want to say it was effective, cause, not effective because it did take down somebody, but uh, or one person, but definitely not the uh, crits they had envisioned. We're going to check the Kaiser cam, who is, oh, so dead. So dead. Poor Kaiser, I'm sorry. I feel like that was my fault. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take responsibility for that. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Kaiser. Allison, going down, I see her dead body. Um, that's kind of weird to say, but... Uh, <laughs> 
Blue um, having good control of the lake house, right? Or the pool house, or the bath house. Um, as Sud has said, there's not enough naked, naked men for that to be a bath house, so... <laughs> That's Sud from uh, uh, Monday Night XTV cast said that. I had to pass it along because it made me laugh way too hard. Anyway, and Taro Bank having a hard time getting back to this point. Um, as uh, they do have 130, well, only 130 left on the clock to do this. And uh, here we go, we are seeing a push by them, but Wicket has this 100% crit. Oh, but did not turn around. They were very concerned about the pool house, and uh, Ajisan not able to defend his medic right there. So, uh, misplay or miscalculation on that crit. Uh, they will stop the cap for a second, and really, Blue needs to take advantage of this, and Terabang has to get this, and indeed they do. And, uh, uh, we'll try to continue to push forward. There's a little setup right here for trombones or swordfish or whatever I'm going to call them. Swordfish trombones. I don't think swordfish can play trombones, but um, I'm not a biologist, so we're just, uh, I, I won't give a definitive answer on that. Uh, we'll see. I don't remember what I was saying about the swordfish trombones because I was picturing swordfish playing a trombone. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, we do have 100% ready for Allison. Let's get on the demo cam. Indeed, he does get the uh, crits. And Bond finally connecting with Anjusan, taking down Ibag as well. Not able to get Wicked. Wicked survived that with a 75% crits charge. So that's going to put uh, Terabang in a very vulnerable position as they all kind of cluttered around the point. I mean, they only have 35 seconds left, so uh, with good reason they're all kind of crouching around the point. But uh, they really need to be careful because they've got to know that they're at a huge disadvantage. Here comes the crit. Andrewson, where is it? It was over on this side and just taking it down everyone on the point. And that's exactly what I was afraid of for Interrobang. So only four up right now, but Allison and Double Dragon of this big classes going down. Uh, so here we go, Swordfish Trombones will push onto the point and will take this. Uh, gonna buy a little bit of a crit percentage advantage for Wicket, but uh, as we've seen, these medics are apt to fall fast and apt to um, just die fast even when that crit is popped. But uh, such is the life of a medic on King of the Hill. It's very sad, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way the uber drops. Haha, <laughs> there we go. And that amused me. Probably more than it should have. Double Dragon wants the sandwich, but he knows he has to like take the time to stand up and eat it. Gonna get some heals from his medic, no doubt. We only have 60 seconds left for Swordfish Trombones to hold on to this. And Terrabang's not gonna let that happen, though, as they are occupying the point pretty well right now. Let's, uh, let's get some grammar up in here. Um, as they do finally cap at this point. Oh, but uh, immediately going down is that pyro. And here comes the push. Oh, Jesus, what was that? Just a flying demo, man. Uh, and here we go. A nice hold right here from Swordfish Trombones as they're trying everything. But in comes some huge crits. Bond takes down Wicket. Wicket was just in the corner right there trying to stay alive, not able to do so. Now we have an NG stuck, or the, sorry, that's the scout stuck in the corner right here, just holding on to this as best as possible. Allison and Double Dragon did go down for Interrobang. So those big classes, again, not going to be able to help them out here in these last few seconds. Well, last 30 seconds, they do have time for a respawn they're not gonna have a crits or anything like that maybe time for a quick fix maybe blue is in overtime so it's not like they'd be uh, stuck with the quick fix for that long uh i don't know we'll see we'll see what these guys pull out of their back pockets and terabang has these numbers now that they need to push onto this point no more waiting allowed uh, and Terrobang, yes, finally getting some capture time on there. Heavy is there, but doesn't see that the pyro is just right around him, circling around, and there we go. Finally, Swordfish Trombones holds on for long enough and takes the first round. Incredibly close round right there. Incredibly close. So, gonna be a good game. Gonna be, gonna be a good game. G, G, G. There we go. Um, now, now we have a little pause, or not pause, but, uh, Lol in the action. I'm going to tell you what I learned about Interrobang today. Interrobang, I was uh, concerned, was a bad term. Something that I didn't want to say in front of my grandma. And I know my grandma watches all my TF2 casts. So <laughs> I was concerned about that. She doesn't. I don't think she knows I do this. That's my parents told her. Anyway, Interrobang. I looked it up. I was actually pretty concerned about looking it up on Google. It is what you get when you combine a question mark and an exclamation point. So it is a punctuation mark, which is really appeals to me as the inner nerd. 
uh, in me. Uh, it's not really inner nerd, I'm just completely outer nerd as well. But uh, so that was really interesting that uh, there's actually a punctuation mark that combines that. So you, whenever I'm writing like question mark, exclamation point in my my messages and stuff like that. I could just be writing in tarot bang. Just think of how much time that could save. Front toward enemy, by the way, is still alive. Finally goes down right there doing some nice work. Um, again, these soldiers have been very good at pushing forward. Oh, I bet Eddie is not going to survive that. Um, oh, but hey, Deacon is in an interesting position right here. It does take down Commander Platypus, but that was probably called out. He will he survive this and be able to get a pick on the medic is the question oh medic kind of knows he's there but where's the pyro pyro was doing some good work a couple stabs and finally allison does go down uh deacon goes down as well but doesn't matter got the medic so uh finally allison bled to death right there it took long enough but uh anyway entero bang learn something new uh that's uh it amused me a lot. Anyway, Custodian getting a nice shot right there. Did take down Commander Platypus. Uh, we'll take on his cam for just a bit longer as his team does have the point right here. So he is the Custodian of the Swordfish Trombones. Uh, that That's an amusing picture in my head. I, I have a swordfish playing trombones and then also like sweeping a floor or something. That's what custodians do. All right, he's not going to get in too much action, but here's some action. A crit's going down. Angie Sun, oh, and it loses his medic to a backstab. Does get 2K after Wicked does go after Wicked goes down right there. So uh, still a pretty good push, but uh, losing Wicked's going to be significant as Allison's going to have this uh, crits up very soon. But look how far. Um, how did Blue get behind? All right, regardless, <laughs> regardless, back to the action. Oh, Commander Platypus takes on Angie-san, and uh, Allison will have this 100% uber. Let's get on the demo man cam. Bon will definitely get this. Uh, I would think hasn't been popped yet. A good choice not to pop um, while the pyro is still there, but this is the last chance for a terabang in this um what? Allison went down to a backstab Deacon. That, again, her dead body she tells the tale, and that's going to be huge for Interrobang as they try to um, do anything to save this round, but still they have no time on the point. They do have a lot of, they have a good chunk of occupying time on the point, but again, they haven't capped it. Will this be the cap that saves them? Indeed it is, and finally, finally they get it this round. Um, after such a close first round, I would have thought it'd be a lot closer than uh, three minutes to uh, 30 seconds, but that is where we are right now. So Terabang has to pull out some sort of crazy defense, which uh, definitely possible on on Lakeside. I have seen some crazy things happen on Lakeside. I've seen I've seen many crazy things in TF2 and in real life. Actually, no, not in real life. I don't want to lie to you. I have only seen regular things in real life. Um, but we'll see as a tarot bang. Uh, we'll just kind of hold on this to the mid right here. And I, I don't know if I like this. I feel like they should be... I don't feel like... I would suggest that they be pushing forward right now. My mom and your lasagna is pushing forward. Uh, and somehow getting away with taking out the dispenser. And I love that. And uh, my mom and your lasagna is second in points right now on uh, his, his team. Alright, we're gonna get onto my mom and your lasagna cam uh, in, right now. Right now, in fact. Um, when you have 35 points as engineer on King of the Hill, and look at Krazen. Krazen is doing crazy work as well, so these unusual classes for Interrobang are really getting the points, and that's I think that's telling the story right here. Um, oh, my mom and you lasagna taking down the heavy. Uh, we'll see if, oh, taking down Angie-san as well. We'll see if he can't finish off. Everybody taking that snapper. That's three Ks in a row. Oh, Akub does go down. Uh, soldier, will this guy survive? No front towards enemy goes down. My mom and your lasagna going huge. Angie going huge on King of the Hill. Not something I say every day, but when I do get to say it, I have the biggest smile on my face. Oh, we'll see if we can get the gunslinger punch, and yes, the gunslinger punch and comp. Not something you see every day, but so amazing. So, so amazing. So my mom and your lasagna right now, top scoring, tied with Crazen, drops the beat. So we'll have to get on that scout cam in just a second as the Terrobang is trying to hold on with their life right here in the second half, or second round. We're still in the first half, of course. But here's going to be a nice push from Swordfish Trombones. Allison being pressured as well, so they will not be able to push up. And oh, Allison going... No, Allison stays alive. Kaiser going down right there. I saw Blood and Gibbs 
giblets or whatever uh, going everywhere. Allison will have this crit just in time to defend the point, but where is everybody on the point? Red has scattered, and Allison is so vulnerable right now, doesn't have any protection. She is somehow surviving. No, finally goes down front towards enemy, gets that medic pick, and Red is coming back, has only 16 seconds left to hold this for as oh uh, as interbank only has 35 seconds left they have a tick the clock down from three minutes so already we've seen some great work from interbank um i'm not uh gonna give it completely to my mom and your lasagna but i'm gonna give a whole lot of it to my mom and your lasagna uh we do have these final seconds red is holding onto the point can the blue come back only five up right now they just got some response oh but Big pick right there. Deacon takes down Double Dragon. No heavy pushing onto the point, and that is going to be another round win. Another insanely close round, but it goes in favor of Swordfish Trombone. So it is a two to nothing. All right, let's watch the my mom and your lasagna roll out. Cause uh, okay, no, watch the crazy. Crazy has been doing some great work too. So let's let's get that. Um, Allison has been trouble having trouble stay alive, and look at that team. Look at those scores. That really tells a story right here. Um, and that's prob as, as close as these games have been. This medic, uh, Allison has just not been getting the the defensive support that she needs in order to. Uh, to do more work, but just as I'm saying that, a nice mid-fight coming out from Interrobang. They did lose their medic, but they got a lot of kills, and oh, Wicked is so dead. Wicked does get tracked down. Mike is doing what I love and patrolling the enemy battlements right here, stopping uh, anybody from coming forward or retreating. See, look at this position. This is really nice. However, will he be able to take down front toward enemy? No! Front toward enemy finishes him off with that shoddy. Uh, Interrobang does cap, though. And here's what they needed to be doing that uh, last round, which is pushing forward a little bit more. They could, could use with a little more aggression, but uh, Allison right now being very, very cautious, and I do not blame her at all. I do not blame her at all. We've seen both snipers are very capable. Commander Platypus is winning in that sniper fight, though. And uh, we'll try to get some more sniper cam as we go on, but uh, Swordfish Trombones... Uh, it's pushing forward. Akov was trying to come in here and do some pressuring of medic, and uh, these engineers, they don't know their place, which is awesome. I love when engineers uh, don't do the standard engineer metagame, which is uh, usually on King of the Hill. It's just put up teleporter, put up dispenser, spam mini sentry. But uh, we've definitely been seeing these engineers make use of that two slot. The secondary weapon slot, which is that uh, shoddy. Uh, we do have oh crits coming off on red. Where did that actually happen? Right here on the point. They're clean enough to point only four up right now for Interrobang. Oh, but uh, in is Crazen. <laughs> he can't do something huge right here. It loses a lot of health and does go down eventually. Angie Sean with some nice, well placed stickies. So. Um, Front, or I'm sorry, uh, Swordfish holding on to the point for a little bit longer. Time ticking down. Uh, <laughs> again, so ridiculously close. Let's get back on. Oh, here we. S let's see if Eddie can take down of my mom in your lasagna. And no, not able to. First that sentry, and then of course uh, Bond with the stickies. Let's get on my mom. And oh, I was gonna say let's get on. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, so much O's. All right. Now let, let's do. It. Let's let's give the snipers their due. Custodian um, helping defend the point right now. Oh, not able to take down his opposing sniper. And as we've seen, uh, Commander Platypus is uh, kind of dominating that. Well, let's let's watch the sniper fight and see how it goes. Oh, it's so derpy, so so extremely derpy. And it looks like he's not aiming anywhere close. But of course, some of that is the STV. Um, and just there we go. Finally, finally, somebody dies. <laughs> Finally. Alright, Allison has this crit, so let's try to get on the bond cam. Actually, no, looks like she's gonna pop it on the heavy, but there's a spy! Oh, some good spy checking! Finds out, uh, but not gonna, not gonna be enough, though, as in comes a swordfish. Uh, for Swordfish, heavier classes right there and cleaning up. Uh, Blue taking a lot of casualties, and Terrorbang just having a trouble holding on to this point. Um, trouble with those crits as well. Let's see. We will see if they can pull off something, and look how far Red is pushed up right here. Uh, Eddie it was in there and somehow got out alive, but right now this is very... Oh, I was going to say very 
um, dangerous. Oh, it is incredibly dangerous. Here comes some st crit stickies. They gotta get out of here. But, oh, finally connecting Anjusan, getting uh, that medic, getting uh, that double or that uh, heavy. Sorry about that. And uh, that's exactly what I was worried about for Interrobang as they're all kind of clustered together. Only a minute left right now for Swordfish Trombones to hold on to the point. Remember, they are up 2 nothing, despite the fact that this game has been ridiculously close. They have won both rounds. So, uh, Terrorbang, I, I, it's not like they're completely demoralized right now. These, these have not been rolls, but uh, it, it, sometimes it's worse when it's been really close. We'll see if Bond can defend his medic right here. Um, Finally, front door enemy goes down. Um, being super aggressive again, I love it. But uh, you gotta wonder about that aggression when there's only 30 seconds left on the point. Can't leave that point to uh, to be capped, even though there is a, a minute 30 left for Terrorbang, which is in which is a long time. But again, we saw how they ticked that time down. They had three minutes in the second round and ticked that time down to like 30 seconds or something. Uh, so, so is possible. And as we've seen, as we've seen, it uh, is they do make it possible. Words. Blah, blah. Uh, anyway, we saw a bomb in there by front horde enemy. Allison is out of position right here. She does get back, will survive. Wicket is close to 100% crits right here, which is going to be oh so bad for Blue if they get caught out. And uh, Wicket, where did that pesk uh, crazy <laughs> medic go? Uh, taking a lot of damage right here. Will has to pop this crits. Has to pop this crits. Um, but no, in comes, in comes the engineer, my mom and the Rizanya, making Wicked drop crits right there. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely crazy engineer play. Um, they had to pop that crits. That may be the uh, good round right here for Swordfish Trombones. Uh, we really, really need, uh, a terror bank really needs to take advantage of this when you have an engineer just crouched in the corner. Somebody take out. Uh, Agov right there, finally he does go down, Kaiser taking him out, uh, Red has a lot of time on the point, uh, all they need to do is hold it for five seconds, oh, we do have the crits, uh, popped, but Allison has nobody, oh, she found the engineer, this could be, this could be it, my mama nearly on you know, not able to go big, but there we go, Red holds on, another ridiculously close round. All right, let's check out these scores. We are going to go to halftime. My mom and your lasagna, 68 points right now leading the server. Yeah, I'm just going to say that again. My mom and your lasagna has 68 points and is leading the server on King of the Hill like Lakeside. All right, so we will go to halftime and be uh, back with what I can assume will be an amazing second half.